It's uh, 3.30 in the morning. I was up at 10.30 and we went to bed at 11, I think. Um, the pain is not controllable. Um, I'm like 100% back to where I was a year ago. Um, before I got diagnosed, um, like, awake around the clock, um, every two, three hours, every single night, this has only been going on, uh, for a couple of weeks, so, I might hit, like, we're, um, you know, the same place as last year, but, getting up, um, First, I didn't have to take showers. I could just get up and take pain medicine and wait for it to work. But now I get up, take pain medicine, and take a shower because um, it doesn't work. I um, The doctor's office happened to call me yesterday to come for my appointment while I was um, in a moment of the pain was just like un absolutely uncontrollable. I didn't realize that... Um, the time had passed this morning. I was supposed to change my um, pain patch, and I didn't, um, so I missed it. And um, the pain had just like gone insane. So, in that uh, phone call, they said I could wear two pain patches. So, um, right now I have two pain patches on. The pain is it's crazy. Um, I'm, I'm taking, um, oral medications as well as the two pain patches. And I honestly, I don't even know how I'm alive. Um, um, my intention is not to overdose, but I have to have relief from the pain. Um, it just hurts so bad. It feels just like when the tumor was on the nerves, wrapped around the nerve bundle. I'm, I'm so scared. I'm so afraid. I, uh, I was telling Callie earlier, the last time this happened, I got diagnosed with, you know, stage three pancreas cancer. And, um, I'm just like so afraid of how bad it can get. Like, I don't, you know, I don't know. Like, where does it stop? Um, I'm also afraid, like, Callie thinks I might need to be hospitalized tomorrow. And I'm just super afraid of going into the hospital. And, um, these are just the scary moments, like, that are scary moments that are really bad. Um, we're leaving at, like, 7.30 in the morning for the doctor. Um, uh, my appointment is at 10. Um, I don't even know what to think. Like, I, th I thought it was just a pancreatitis attack. And a pancreatitis is supposed to be, like, terrible. Like, the most brutal pain. Um, I just try really hard to not let my fears just, like, run away with me. And it's just really hard to get them under control. And it's, like, so incredibly painful. And, um, I don't really even have anything to say. I just, that's where I'm at. I don't know, you know, I don't know what tomorrow holds. I don't know what this is that's causing this pain. 
um, whatever it is, it's not like a minor pain. Um, it doesn't mean it has to be cancer, but whatever it is, it's pretty rough. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm back to the place of feeling like I'm in organ failure or something like to that effect. Uh, when the doctor called yesterday, I like absolutely, I doubt if they could understand a word I said to go crying so hysterically and just profusely apologizing, trying so hard to explain what was going on, but being in so much pain. I also, um, I can't go to the bathroom. I haven't and then on laxatives for like a while. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't been able to go to the bathroom. So there's like some pain involved with that. Um, I haven't really been able to eat. I had uh, at church, I had like uh, maybe, maybe like six teaspoons of potato soup. Um, I've had, like, that much rice today. I got really hungry, and, uh, after the doctor, and I thought the pain would get under control, so I put on the second patch. I got really excited, thought maybe I'd be able to eat, and, um, I ate ten tater tots. It might be why I'm in so much excessive pain tonight. Um, I had a little bit of oatmeal today. I ate like <clears throat> maybe like six tablespoons of oatmeal. Um, I've been drinking tons of water. I've had a little bit of banana to like take pills. My throat started like grabbing on to pills where I can't swallow. Um, this is just really rough. It's really, really rough. Uh, it's a lot of pain. It's very trying. It's very, it's very frightening. And it's very alarming. It's very sorrowful. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, I don't really have anything else. Um, I'll do an update as soon as I see the doctor tomorrow. And I can say what's going on. Um, and hopefully that there's answers for me. This is to my appointment tomorrow is to get the results of the PET scan. They should be able to tell if the tumor is alive or dead. And um, if the tumor is gone. And, um, hopefully they've seen something of what's going on now. The PET scan was done. It was done on a really painful day, but not where I'm at now. So, it was done, like, um, two weeks ago. And now we're in a much different pain place. It's really bad. And, um, anyone that would pray for me, I appreciate it so much and would be so thankful. Uh, if you would pray for me, um... just for strength um and for fear and just for me to trust the lord <laughs> um <laughs>